This is Code.org. I'm currently working on their CS Principles course. I'm on Unit 3, Intro to Programming, Lesson 8, Creating Functions with Parameters, Part 17. Keep going. At this point, you've seen how parameters can help generalize the behavior of a function to perform a variety of tasks, not just one. This will prove to be a very useful skill as we continue to develop as programmers. Yes, it will. For now, keep adding to your drawing. Make more function calls and see if you can continue to use random numbers to add variety to your drawing. Oh, cool. So we're going to ask the program to... Oh, I love this. Okay. We're going to ask it to draw more stuff. Um, I definitely want to do what they did and ask for another starfish. Yes. Um, so I'm going to go to functions. My function right here fish add a parameter math random and um, I'm gonna make this one uh, have to be a smaller one so 20 to 40 we'll say on that one okay and another fish sounds excellent to me so oh we gotta move we gotta move we gotta move a uh, function Uh, let's put this one. This is going to be behind the seaweed, I guess, but that's okay. Um, and then we'll try that. And now where is fish? I'm going to show text instead of having to grab all this stuff. Oh my goodness. So many random numbers. I'm going to right click, copy, right click, paste. Okay. And then I'm going to change the size. This is going to be my smaller fish, I guess. So let's do between. Is five too small? I'm not sure. We're going to test it out though. I'm going to show blocks, show toolbar. All right, let's test this. Oh, where'd that fish go? Oh, is it covered by our other fish? Draw random fish, random 0 to 15. Okay, let's make this big so I know I'm not missing it. Hmm. Must be off the screen. I did something wrong. Oh, it is. Let's try that. There's our fish. And I want to, again, try making a, a smaller fish with this one. Going to scoot that back. Let's scoot that back. Let's do 15 to 20. Wah! Five. Beautiful. And I got my three over here, too, for my starfish. Awesome. And so remember, each time we do this, so when I write draw fish and I have all these random numbers, it's a function call. Functions only run when you ask the computer to run them. So writing draw fish, the computer says, oh, okay, so that's a function. Where's that? Boom. Hits this. And then it says, okay, well, what was size? And then whatever random number it is that time, maybe it's 17, that will be size. And then for red, maybe it's 103 this time. For blue, for green, maybe it's 2. And for uh, blue, maybe it's 19. Those are the parameters, they're arguments, but they're going to be represented here. So now when it runs, it drops below and runs this. Oh, well, what was red? Uh, whatever I just said, 101. What was green? Whatever that random number was up there. And then it runs through all this code and creates our fish. And then it's going to, once it's done running the function, say we're on this one, it drops below, below, moves the turtle, and then runs the draw fish function again and creates new random numbers for each of our parameters. Because each time you see random number, the computer is generating another random number, which is why we get something different every time. Ooh, I like that one. Awesome. Let's uh, keep going. 